industry creators looking to create impact, influence, and longevity. I'm your best friend in beauty, Aquia Robinson, and in today's video, I want to give you 10 tips to help you write better captions for social media. So one of the things that I get asked a lot from a lot of different people is if I write my own captions. And I'm always like, of course I write my own captions. I guess people think I'm really good with writing captions for social media. And I also get asked all the time if I write my own emails that I send out to the Friends and Beauty email list. And I do. So I won't say that I'm the best writer in the world, but I think I do a pretty good job with writing captions. So effective copywriting is so essential for social media like posting a good picture or posting captivating content is only half of the battle um your caption could either you know bring people onto your page or it could repel people so it's really really important to you know write captivating captions for social media it could stop people dead in their scroll and keep them locked into what you have to say so in this video i'm going to give you some do's and don'ts when it comes to writing captions for social media so let's go ahead and get into it so let's start with the do's first so the first thing that you want to do is know your audience like who are you talking to when you know your audience figuring out what to say in your caption or your copy on social media becomes a lot more easier and a lot more seamless like if you know their likes their dislikes their challenges like knowing what to say would be a breeze so you have to have to have to know your audience and you have to know who you're talking to the second thing that you want to do is speak to one person in your caption avoid using things like y'all and you guys and you know things like that when you're speaking to one person like when somebody comes to your page and you're speaking to that one person they should feel like you are speaking directly to them it makes them feel seen and it definitely builds connection so the third thing that you want to do is use a strong call to action you have to tell people what you want them to do and people actually like to participate so a call to action is basically using things or language like you know click the link in my bio comment below um, repost and tag me share this in your story like you have to tell people what to do when you have strong call to actions it builds up your engagement on social media and it also directs that traffic right back to you so the fourth thing that you want to do is have your key message in the first sentence of your caption so you know when you're scrolling on social media you know you might see this captivating picture or video and in the caption it only shows like the first few maybe I don't even know how many characters it is but in that first sentence you should be using that space to have like a bold statement ask a question get people's wheels turning so that they can drop down they click that thing to see more of what you're talking about so using a key message or a bold statement or asking a question in that first sentence will get people curious to see what you're talking about and get them to read your caption and engage more the fifth thing that you want to do is do a spelling and grammar check look nobody is perfect and this is like a pet peeve of mine when i see like certain things spelled wrong but like nobody's perfect autocorrect will make a fool out of you real quick so make sure you're doing a spelling and grammar check if you have to read your caption out loud before you post it or maybe have somebody else read it if that's something that you struggle with make sure you're doing a spelling and grammar check because I mean, people are really picky out here and people will judge you really, really quick just based off of the way you spell things or your grammar and all of that good stuff. So I would hate for that to happen to you. Make sure you are doing a spelling and grammar check on your captions before you post it. And I've done it before where I, um, I might have overlooked something and I have to go back and edit it, but it rarely, rarely happens. But make sure you're doing a spelling and grammar check before you post your captions okay because what i do hate is that and this has happened before i've seen it on other people's pages is like you might have made a mistake in your caption and then what if that post gets reshared and then that's getting going out to the masses so, so you just want to do your due diligence and just make sure everything is looking good and is in tip-top shape and it's looking professional side note so if you hear any background noises any eating scratching bells ringing or whatever i have a new kitten his name is cash i found him the other day he's mommy's little boy yes he is yes he is so he's around here making all types of noise while i'm recording but i love him anyway just thought you would see 
I'm a cat lady. <laughs> All right. All right, so now that you have an idea of some things that you do want to pay attention to, the things that you do want to do, let's go ahead and jump over to the things that you want to avoid. Let's talk about the things that you don't want to do when it comes to writing captions on social media. So the first thing that you don't want to do is you want to avoid using text message lingo in your captions. So unless this is a part of your brand, I would stay away from using like shorthand speech in your captions like how and then the letter R and you or the LOL, well, LOL is cool, but unless that's a part of your brand, like I will avoid using shorthand. Um, you know how you text shorthand? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I hope you know what I'm talking about. I would avoid using that unless it's a part of your brand and unless it's a part of the way that your audience communicates and you communicate with your audience. That can be seen as unprofessional a lot of the time. So go ahead and write out your words and everything and avoid using text message lingo in your captions. So the second thing that you don't want to do is don't be vague in your captions. So I know sometimes we have this misconception that like nobody's going to read my caption if it's too long. But the truth is, if your caption is good, it's engaging, it's captivating, people will actually sit there and read a long caption. I have done it several times before and I have my little call to action at the, at the bottom. People tap in, they comment below, they click the link in my bio, whatever they have to do. So don't be afraid to share more details in your caption. Like, don't be afraid to share stories, expert advice, go into detail about whatever you posted about. All I'm saying is you'll be surprised at the response. So go ahead and don't be vague and get to writing that caption out. The third thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to write for everybody. You're not trying to talk to everybody. You want to talk to that percentage of people who is actually engaging and is active on your page. And that's when like your, if you have a business page on Instagram, that's when your insights come into play. You're not trying to talk to everybody. When you try to talk to all of your followers at one time, you're essentially talking to nobody at all. You want to speak to that percentage that matters. So if you have to keep a particular um, person that you engage with regularly on social media in mind, you can act like you're talking directly to them or if you're talking directly to a friend. But don't try to talk to everybody because that's when your message gets lost in translation. You just want to talk to the people who you know is going to engage and the ones that essentially matter at the end of the day. So the fourth thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to make your caption all about you. Your audience wants to know what's in it for them, right? Use your caption to add value, tell stories, give advice, um, tell stories that people can relate to. It builds trust and credibility. So one thing that I kind of hate sometimes and, and I definitely did this before is when I see people post on Instagram and all they're saying in their caption is book me, book me, now I'm booking, now I'm taking appointments, now like that tells the person nothing about you essentially i cannot tell you the last time that i put something like that in my bio unless it's something that i'm promoting like a class or like one-on-one -on -one lessons or something like that and i'm like now say i'll still have a caption and i'll tell people like hey click the link in my bio for more information or email me or something but i don't just have my caption say book me book me book me book me book me book me like nobody wants to see that if your work is good enough if you're you're um whatever you're posting is captivating, you don't have to necessarily tell people to book you. They're going to book you or if they want to book you, they're going to find out how to book you. So use that space for something more valuable. Okay. Like it just builds trust. It builds credibility and it makes you be seen as an expert. So don't make it all about you actually add some value to these people's lives. So the fifth thing that you don't want to do is don't be fake. Okay. Do not be fake. Be yourself. Use your sense of humor. Use your quirkiness, your sass. Like people want to know that you are somebody that they can relate to and do business with. So if you're trying to be somebody else, that's only going to last but so long. So just go ahead and be yourself on social media and use your caption to express yourself and show a little bit of personality. All right, so that is it when it comes to the do's and don'ts for writing great captions for social media. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this so I can know what kind of content you like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Friends and Beauty here on YouTube if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me and Friends and Beauty on social media at Aquia Robinson and Friends and Beauty. If you are a friend and beauty, make sure you join the Friends and Beauty Facebook community. All of this stuff will be down below in 
in the description. Make sure you tune into the Friends of Beauty podcast. I just celebrated one year of doing the Friends of Beauty podcast this past week and I've been having so much fun with this. So if you, you know, want to tune into that, you're more than welcome. And I think that's about it. Um, I will talk to you next week in another video.